On this worksheet, we are going to practice the malonic ester synthesis and the acetoacetic ester synthesis to show how to make a carboxylic acid and also a ketone. Carboxylic acids are synthesized via the malonic ester synthesis. This reaction requires us to start with malonic ester, which is this molecule right here. So this, we always start with this particular ester. And in the malonic ester, this carbon atom that I'm highlighting is this carbon atom of our carboxylic acid, the alpha carbon. So for this, um, this is going to be either a three-step process or a five-step process, depending on how many alkyl groups you want to put on your alpha carbon. If you want to put two alkyl groups, then it's going to be a five-step process. The first step is going to be using ethoxide. We always use ethoxide to match the um, ethoxy group. Uh, we use ethoxide to deprotonate. It's going to deprotonate the alpha carbon. And then after that, we are going to add one of the alkyl groups that we want to have in our product. And it doesn't matter which one we do first, so let's just do the, the um, ethyl group first. We're gonna add it as an alkyl halide. Then if you want to add a second alkyl group, you're gonna repeat this. So we're gonna do ethoxide round two. That's going to deprotonate again, because remember there are two hydrogens here in this position. And then step four is going to be to add the second alkyl group. This is a pH CH2 Br. And then when you're all done, you'll use H3O plus and heat. And this does a hydrolysis, removes the, um, removes the carbonyl groups and synthesizes a carboxylic acid. If you only wanted to add one alkyl group, you would just not have steps three and four. Um, this, would be, this would be your step three. For making a ketone, we use the acetoacetic ester synthesis. In that process, we start the reaction every single time with acetoacetic ester, which is this molecule right here. And in acetoacetic ester, the alpha carbon is this carbon right here. So this portion of the molecule comes from the original very similar, this is either going to be a three-step process or a five-step process, depending on how many alkyl groups you're adding. The first step is always going to be using ethoxide to deprotonate that alpha carbon. And then you wanna follow that up with an alkyl halide of your desired alkyl group, pH, CH2, Br. Since we are only trying to one, add one alkyl group, in this case, we're done. And we are now going to go to the hydrolysis part, which is H3O plus and heat.